My name is Breno and I'll talk about raspberry waves in the Sun, Earth's atmosphere and Earth's core. So raspberry waves are large-scale vertical flow patterns that uh, arise due to the rotation of the planet and they are known to be responsible for teleconnections. Teleconnections are connections between uh, the weather in different regions of, of the globe. So for instance, uh, the Madden Julian oscillation is a particular phenomenon that is known to connect the weather in the Pacific with the weather in South America. So over here we see the, Ros uh, the reconstruction of the Rosby component of the Madden Julian oscillation, which is this double vortex pattern here that propagates in the, in the equator of the Earth. So this will be published uh, next month in Earth System Dynamics. Uh, we have also been studying uh, trains of roadways that leave the Pacific, uh, go to the subtropics and reach South America, causing this South American dipole pattern, that is this double vortex pattern here, that is known to control uh, rainfall over this region of South America and in, in Brazil. So these large-scale vertical patterns are known to favor uh, small-scale convective events that lead to rainfall. So, in summary, ra uh, raspberry waves are waves, large-scale waves that uh, connect the weather over distant regions of the Earth, and they also connect the large-scale flow patterns with uh, small-scale uh, convective events that lead to rainfall. In, in, in the sun, we know that uh, about 11 years, there's a peak in the, in the number of sunspots. That's the signature of the magnetic cycle of the sun. We have been modeling this cycle as the cycle of exchange of energy between MHD rod waves. We have a series of uh, papers on this on the Surfisco Journal and the Surfisco Journal Letters. Also, several works have been pointing out to the ex to evidence to existence of Rosby waves in the sun. So this signature of Rosby waves can be seen as this propagating pattern in, in coronal mass ejection events, and also they can be seen in luminosity maps. Over here, these large scale patterns. And uh, as in the case of the Earth, uh, of Earth's atmosphere, uh, the rose rays in, in, in the sun, they are mechanisms that connect the magnetic activity over distant uh, longitudes. They're thought to be responsible for the preparation of longitudes for the magnetic activity events. And they also connect large-scale uh, flows with small-scale localized events, such as coronal mass ejector events and solar flares. In Earth's core, uh, Rosby waves are thought to be responsible for the westward drift of the um, geomagnetic field. This was suggested uh, by Raymond Hyde in 1966. And um, several works uh, have been pointing out to the importance of the dynamics of Rosby waves to so the geomagnetic field, in particular core flow inversions, have been showing these uh, vertical flow patterns that propagate in Earth's core that can be associated with Rosby waves. And also earlier this year we published uh, a paper on the proceedings of the Royal Society suggesting that uh, geomagnetic flux lobes that are localized and stationary structures of the geomagnetic field uh, can be caused by stationary Rosby waves that have their pro propagation locked by either topography or uh, heterogeneous uh, heat flow patterns at the car uh, boundary. Uh, Rosby waves are also thought to be uh, present in other astrophysical objects and also in the ocean. 